Thank you, the five. Anthony, Lud, new to your stream. I'm sorry for that. Loving the league, man. But sheesh, you had to get boosted by a bronze. Okay, we'll fucking talk about it right now. Because there have been allegations against my name. My good name. People are trying, and this is the media, okay? The media is trying to plant a story, paint a narrative about me. I understand probably what fucking Donald Trump feels like right now, okay? With the freaking media. I'll show you a clip. Did he see a bow stream? I'll show you a clip. With PTA? Oh my god, he's a psychopath. So, somebody went to Cadrill stream, and they said, please watch Ludwig Mundo game, 10 out of 10 gameplay, really proud. Which was a joke, because the Mundo game, if you don't play League, was one of the worst games that anyone has ever played, ever. It was, it was, it was genuinely worse than an AI bot. Tyler one was right. Now, it only had one upvote, so, so Cadrill just kind of, instead of looking at the Mundo game, used it as an opportunity to just look through my past games. So hard. Wait, the Amumu jungle, he found Winner's Q. What happened to Fiddlestick support? I feel like his Fiddlestick support was kind of crazy, no? I might bring it back, to be honest. Oh my god, he's playing Fiddlesticks top. Did he see a bow stream with PTA? <laughs> what? Oh my god, he's a psycho. It was actually a CabX video, but... Yeah, keep grinding, keep grinding, keep grinding. Keep. So he, he throws out like a conciliatory, like... Yeah, like, 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 a, like Shohei Otani meeting a f***ing seven-year-old who has his jersey on. And he throws the most conciliatory, like, yeah, keep at it, kid. Maybe one day you'll make it to the fucking big leagues. I don't give a shit. You know, which, which, by the way, I love. That, that's all I want to hear until he decides to do a bit of digging. Is he duo queuing? He's duo queuing with Atrioc. Is he good, Atrioc? He's gold four. Wait, if they're duo queuing, he's playing in quite of high elo, no? He's playing in, like, silver. That's pretty hard. So he comes to the conclusion that because I'm duo queuing, I'm playing with people who are higher rank than me, which is true. And then he spreads the narrative. Yo, he's playing in silver, not bad. Wait. Is he fucking... Yo, Ludwig, are you fucking... Are you, uh... <laughs> now, he never says it explicitly with his words, much like the media likes to do, but he let the viewer draw his own conclusion. Are you boosted? Are you playing with people of a higher rank? Is Ludwig's journey to Platinum really actually a journey to Platinum if he duo queues? Or is it actually an experiment on how good his friends actually are? That's what the media would have you believe! Until you look at the data. Because the thing that the media can't twist are the facts. And the facts are available on OP.GG. Let's just look at my past five wins. Now, bear in mind, one of these is a ranked flex game. This game basically does not matter. The other four games, I duo queued them with Atrioc, or it stands for one. This game right here, 14-8-18, I was the MVP, not of my team, of the entire game. Atrioc was ranked the ninth best player in the lobby. That is a fact. I cannot make this information up. It is not possible for me to change this information factually. I was the best player. Factually, he was the second to worst player. Okay, next game. This is a ranked flex game. This is the game he pulled up. Atrioc was the MVP. I was fourth. Stans was seventh. It is true. Atrioc carried in this game. But the game doesn't matter. <laughs> It is a ranked flex game. If we're going to start looking at flex games to say that I'm boosted, it wouldn't make sense because my rank in flex is gold currently. But nobody says I'm gold. They say I'm bronze. So how can you both be calling me boosted but also not even acknowledging the flex rank? We'll call it irrelevant. Next game with stands. He was MVP. I was second. Shaq and Kobe as far as I'm concerned. 
Did Stans play slightly better than me? Yeah, sure. But ultimately, I also was the second best player out of the 10 on the field. All right. Next game. All right. With Stans again. He was MVP. I was third. Okay. Third. Again, top three in these lobbies of 10 people. And these are lobbies, bear in mind, with silver players. I am outplacing Lost Sins, Mini Custos. In silver circles, these names go far. I know for you guys, this might not hit. But, like, in silver circles, you got to understand, Bog Chill Dog is a f***ing threat. Bog Chill Dog is a... F Ooh, you watch out when Bog Chill Dog walks around, right? In a silver lobby, you're shaking your boots, okay? And then in this game, Atrioc, the guy who's carrying me, placed fifth. I placed fourth. Now, if you want to say I was boosted by a random gin that I happened to queue in with, fine. I was in winner's queue, whatever. But you can't say, you cannot say, it is because we duo queued. Okay? You just can't, you can't make that argument. Because factually, of the two games that I played with him in solo ranked, I played better. Oh, Ludwig, how about you go to a losing game? Okay. Boom. Here's a losing game. I was fifth. He was seventh. Does, does that help? Does that help you? Sorry, I wasn't fifth. My bad. I was fourth. Does that help? You know what I mean? Like the, again, I'm just pulling up the facts. Right? The fact of the matter is when Maya Mumu hits the field, it is a top three generational performance, occasionally top four. Silver's quaking their boots when they see me. Silver's quaking their boots when they see me. Now the f***ing haters will be happy to know one more piece of information. I can no longer play with Adriok. Not because I am falling into the mass media's narrative. It is because he is a gold-ranked player now. And when you hit gold, you are no longer able to queue with bronze players. So we're solo queue until I hit silver.